YouTube Zookeeper. Today I'm going to show people, uh, well my fans anyway, the easiest way I've found to locate which circuit has a phantom load on it. In a car, in an RV, boat, possibly even a solar system. Um, what we're looking for, and this is based on a video I saw by Professor John Kelly at Weber Auto, um, where he used a mega ohm meter, also called a mega, to measure the resistance of fuses. Now, I'm not doing that, but if anyone remembers V equals IR, so if I have a resistance on a fuse, I should be able, and I pass a current through it, which is amps, I should be able to measure a voltage across that fuse if there's a, if there's a, a resistance of it, right? I can't, I don't own a mega, don't have one, but it, it occurred to me that, hey, if, if, I, if there's a voltage drop with a current flow, then if I have, you know, 20 fuses lined up and I don't know which one of them is causing my battery to go dead, then if I just measure the voltage across each fuse and compare it to the other ones, I can probably figure out which circuit or circuits, if there's more than one, is causing a draw. So the general idea is, you've got your fuse installed in your car like this. You've got your your power and your load, you know, where your, your circuit goes through the fuse. And when there's current flowing through the fuse to your headlights, to your radio, to your, you know, uh, brake controller, whatever, then there's going to be a voltage drop across these two metal terminals right here. And every fuse, even the little ones, have metal terminals and if you really want to get fancy you can even do this on the older style uh, glass fuses. Um, you can just measure across the two metal parts. So anyway what I'm about to demonstrate is you know, normally this fuse is plugged into something because you can't you can't measure the voltage down here because it's plugged in. So I'm going to turn this on. Right now I got my current limit set really low. I have no voltage because my meter leads aren't connected to anything. They're just hanging out over here on the left hand side. I'll turn my meter on and the ammeter did move. See there? When I turn it on, the ammeter did move. I am putting a little teeny bit of current through this fuse right now even though the meter's turned all the way down. So I'll do the first measurement and say okay. Um, on this measurement, I get, if you read the meter, it says minus 0 0.06 volts. Okay, all right, so that's minus 0 0.06. Now, what if I'm putting, you know, uh, four tenths, three tenths, four tenths of an amp through this fuse? Should I get the same reading? No, I shouldn't. And I don't. I get w minus 1.5. Okay, so that's a difference. Before I got minus, what, 0.6, now I got minus 1.5. Put some more current through it. So as what we're showing here is the fuses that have more current through them have more millivolts across the terminals. The higher the current, the higher the millivolt reading across the terminals. Now I'll just crank this up as far as I can go. And there we got 3.5 right so higher current is higher millivolts so by that you can judge and okay let's say well what's zero okay what's zero zero is minus 0 0.06 so with that information you can figure out which fuse is the one that's got the biggest current draw and troubleshoot which circuit is causing your battery to go dead. Anyway, that's what I had for today. Hope this helps somebody. Really makes my life a lot easier doing diagnostics and try to figure out some of these electrical problems that people have a hard time with. Um, I do read the comments, so if you have any comments or questions, feel free to do that. I try to respond to as many of them as I can. Thank you, and have a great day. Zookeeper, out.